How are you? Uh, how have you settled into the life at Melbourne City? It looks like you've hit some decent form over the past few weeks. You're really feeling like you now get this Melbourne City team and your role within it. Uh, yeah, perfect. Um, I had a rough start at the at the, at the beginning, of course, with the long injury. Uh, missed almost the whole preseason. Uh, yeah, so that's very hard to to understand the players, um, to get well with the players, and yeah, you have to know the uh, the good things and the bad things from from the players. You know, that's. Yeah, that was very hard at the beginning, but I think the last one and a half month or something, uh, yeah, I, I can express myself uh, very good on the pitch. Sometimes we have still, uh, uh, how do you say, the, the the right timing of of my walk, of my forward run, for example, or that I run too too quick. Um, yeah, that that's fine tuning, you know. Um, but I think we are on a good way, and yeah, only the last three weeks, uh, of course, the draws. Uh, didn't help, but we were way better than the other team. Um, we had a lot of chances, so I think it's execution. Because how difficult is it for yourself as a new player? Because this city system has basically been in place for approaching half a decade now. Everybody that was already here very much knew their roles. How difficult is that to come into as a new player? Um, at the beginning of the season, I had a, a great video with, uh, with PK and, and what he expected from me. And when I came here in the first uh, few days, I think I had also a, uh, a video with him and what he expects from, from, uh, from a number eight or a number ten. You know, that, that are my positions. So um, it was very clear what, what they expected from me. Uh, yeah, and then the injury came, of course. So um, yeah, that was hard at, at that time, but I, I could see what he wanted from from players and yeah, I watched of course uh, uh, how other players did it and and I think that I'm doing well okay uh, at the moment uh, but still we we can improve I can improve uh, a lot because um, I think we are, we are one of the best teams in the league you know so uh, yeah that's that's for me the, the most important thing to uh, to develop the 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 understanding with the other players and the rest is coming quickly, I think. I mean, oppositions won't like to hear that you think you could improve, but where, what aspects of the game do you think like you've got another level to go to? I think in the final third, when we have to make the decisions to shoot or just to pass or to dribble, you know, sometimes we make wrong decisions. And for example, when a when I take a shot and there's a better a player in a better position, then I have to pass, you know, and that's one example. Um, if we do that, if we do those things better, I think we 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 didn't draw the last three games, as as an example, you know. Um, so I think there's a lot of to, to improve for ourselves, and yeah, that's it. Yeah. And. Um that we had the mid-season situation over the World Cup break. PK went to France. He's been replaced by Rado in the main chair. What's that transition been like for you as a player? Because I imagine you were just getting used to PK and yeah, all yeah, these exactly. appointments as a coach. Yeah. And then in comes Rado, and though they have the same style, very different personalities. Mm. So what's that been like? Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, but that's football, you know. Um, that's that's the main thing. Uh, players come and go, uh, coaches come and go, but yeah, the club remains and and stay here. You know, so that's um, yeah, that is what it is, and you have to adapt uh, to the new coach. Um, and I was still uh, searching for my things with uh, with the other players, so it was for me a little bit yeah double. Um, uh, but I think we're doing uh, we're doing well. We only uh, lost one game, so I think we we adapt uh, uh, the the. The new coach, as a as a group. Rado's talked about wanting to give his players in certain positions on the pitch more license to improvise and be creative. What uh, have you been enjoying that? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, I don't say that PK's uh, thing was was bad, not at all. But uh, I think we have more more freedom to express ourselves and uh, yeah, to the, to create. Um, other things that people don't ex um, expect, you know. So um, yeah, for me it's perfect because I can yeah I can run everywhere when I, when I see a, a a big gap or um, 
just um, get the, back, uh, the ball uh, from the defenders um, to go, for example, to the side way where Lecky's standing and then Lecky comes in. Uh, yeah, I think that's the most important change uh, for us as a group that we are uh, have more more freedom a little bit on the field. And coming into the the A League men, the Australian league, after a long time over there in Europe, what have you made of the competition itself? What sort of style of football do you think the A Leagues predominantly play? Um, yeah, the teams that they they play against us, I think it's more different. Um, when they play against each other, I think it's then more an open game. I think a lot of teams are uh, uh, just waiting for us at the at the halfway line, and um, they waiting for the one or two chances that we can give them. Because yeah, if you play like us, then sometimes um, we get a counter attack. Yeah, that that's the way, way of playing for us. Um, but I think in general um, there are more. Uh, transitions uh, uh, than in Europe and uh, it's a lot of physics also so yeah th those are the uh, most two things yeah, th the two most things like uh, what's different than in Holland for example forgive me for speaking in generalizations here I won't profess to be an expert in Dutch football but it sort of sounds like you you're sort of like you're now the Ajax, basically. Like teams are sitting back and waiting for you to come at them. Is that sort of the same? What I'm hearing? Um, yeah, I th I th yeah. It's hard for me to say yes, of course, but I think yeah. Like everybody's, for example, the, uh, uh, when we play against uh, uh, the number two, um, they were pulling back like crazy. They were just waiting at the at the box. Yeah, if, if it if it's like Ajax or against PSV or, or against Feyenoord, they won't accept that at all. So that for me, the, the, that was for me the, like the game changer of thinking like, well, if the number two is playing like this against us, yeah, that's, that's a lot of, that's a big difference if you compare it with Holland. Absolutely. Um, and the last one from me, mate, you've signed a two year deal with City, so you're committed to a long term relationship. Mm -hmm with this club what was behind that why did you want to you know that we get a lot of european players here that just sign one-year deals don't bring their yeah. families out what was important to you about signing a multi-year deal and bringing your family out um for me the the number one rule was at my for myself was like i'm not going without my family i'm, I'm not going to miss them for for one or two years at all um, the kids are like have the age of one and uh, or, or zero at the moment uh, at that moment and three I can't miss the development for for one whole year. Um, if if I would sign in a club in Ger Germany or Belgium, then it's totally different. But this is on the other side of the world, you know. So I want some continuation, and then I don't want to sign a one-year deal. Also, uh, yeah. And I, I talked about it with my wife, and uh, yeah, for me the most important thing was not to get my whole life upside down for just one year. So. Yeah, that's why I chose for two years.